In this video, we're going to get started drawing our mousetrap cars in SketchUp. So we open up a new drawing in SketchUp, and we will get rid of this fine lady standing in the middle of the screen by selecting her and pressing delete. Next, I'm going to go to the right side of the screen, select scenes, and I'm going to go to top view. So I'm going to click on top view. I'm going to collapse the menu, and I'm going to come over here to the Rectangle tool. I'll click on Origin. So click, move my finger. Remember, don't hold down. Just click to start, move, type in the distance, which in this case, this is where you're going to have to take a look at your sketch of the car you're going to build. And the last two numbers on there were the width and height. <coughs> or excuse me, the length and width of your car. So in this case, my car was 8 by 3, so I'm going to type in 8, 3. So it's the length first, the width second, separated by a comma, and I'm going to press return. The car looks very small, so I'm going to press Shift-Z, and that's going to zoom me in. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Google Classroom and I'm going to find the post of what is called the model of the mousetrap. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on where it says mousetrap.skp and I'm going to download the file into my computer. Yours is likely not to do this. This is doing this because it's on a Mac. Yours is going to just simply go directly into Google Drive. So now I'm going to go back to my drawing in SketchUp after I've downloaded the mousetrap. And <clears throat> under the drop down menu, I'm going to select Import. Do not open the mousetrap. You need to come down here to where it says Import and import. I'm going to go into Google Drive and I will navigate and find the mousetrap. So yours is likely to be right there uh, when, when you do this. I have to go in a little deeper to where my stuff is and find the mousetrap. You'll get this screen. It says import as component. It's loading and then Initially, I'm just going to simply drop it on the face of the car. I'm not trying to center it, not trying to do anything, just simply dropping it on the face of the car. Then, what I'm going to do is I want to center the mousetrap on the car um, side to side, not necessarily front to back because that's going to be dis design dependent, meaning it's just kind of depends on what your design is as to where you place the mousetrap forward and back, but it will be centered left to right. So I'm going to orbit the drawing. I'm going to come back here and get my move tool. And then I'm going to <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to find the midpoint on the bottom edge. Notice how there's one here as well. It says midpoint and group. I don't want that one. I need to find the one on bottom. So midpoint in the group. I'm going to click that. I'm going to pull it to the back edge. And then I'm going to slide it over until it says midpoint. So now that is directly in the center of the car. Now I can click on the mousetrap anywhere, and I'm going to slide it forward. I'm going to go back to top view, and I'm going to put it again. I'm going to kind of refer to my sketch again and determine where this falls on the car. You will be able to move it later in the process, so if you move it too far forward or maybe you didn't move it far forward enough, you'll still be able to move it. But just for right now, it's just a good starting point to get your mousetrap on there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save this drawing. 
I'm going to name it Mousetrap Car. Save it. Okay. I then would like you to orbit the drawing so that it looks maybe about like that. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I just kind of want to see your rectangle and the mousetrap uh, location kind of on on the drawing. Okay, something like that. I want to kind of see the three D. Uh, idea of it here all right and then what I would like you to do is take a screenshot of this put it in the document of today's assignment and then uh, turn it in